Welcome back, everybody. This is Drew Dobbins coming at you on YouTube. I got another lesson for you today. Uh, we'll be talking about muscle movements. I got three down here that you should incorporate in each one of your workouts. Um, it's important to hit all three so you don't get those muscle imbalances, uh, which leads to injuries down the road. We don't want that. So let's get into it. Blow the screen up here. Three muscle groups on the screen. We'll start off with concentric. Concentric movement is when the, what I think of it as, I, I use the C. So concentric, the muscle um, constricts, okay? So the, the, the muscle shortening, it contracts. Um, a good example there, you can see the, the picture on the right. You know, I'm doing, um, I'm doing a bicep curl. I'm going to stand up here demonstrate i'm gonna do a bicep curl so the con concentric movement phase is on the way up my muscle starts in the lengthening and it's contracting okay it gets smaller okay so that's concentric okay muscle contracts get smaller okay next one eccentric movement so the mus muscle is lengthening okay so how i remember it i, I think of the e and eccentric elongation okay so the, the muscle is elongating the muscle is lengthening okay so good example of this is the muscle is lengthening on the way down okay so like if I have two dumbbells in my hand, I'm in the weight room, I'm working out, and I want to work on the, the eccentric movement phase, I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to resist the weight on the way down, maybe four or five count. So I'll start at the top. So rep one, I'll start at the top, and I'll count five, four, three, two, one. And I'm resisting that, that weight on the way down, okay? So the muscle is elongating. It's important to do concentric and eccentric movements because we, we want to be strong throughout the, the whole range of motion. Okay, we just don't want to be strong in the concentric phase. We just don't want to be strong in the eccentric phase. We want to be strong throughout the whole movement. That's, that's why we do both of them. That's why it's important to do both of them. Um, another note for eccentric is that you're stronger in the eccentric movement. Uh, so think about it. So you got two dumbbells in your hand. You know, it's a lot harder to lift 30 pounds rather than dropping 30 pounds. So that's just something to keep in mind. The third one there on your screen is isometric movements. Okay, so isometric is the muscle does not shorten or lengthen. Okay, the muscle does not shorten or lengthen. So let's say I have those two 30 pound dumbbells in my hand again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start them here and I'm going to maybe, you know, at 90 degrees, let me get in the screen here for you. At 90 degrees, I'm just holding the weight in my hands. Okay. Five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you're trying to accomplish for today. So I got these two dumbbells, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm resisting that weight from trying to pull me down. I'm holding it there. The muscle is not lengthening or shortening, okay? Staying the same, okay? Again, it's important to do all three because we want to be strong throughout the whole range of movement, okay? It's important. It'll, it'll help you down the road. It'll increase that. That muscle strength and first feet, you'll see muscle growth if you incorporate all three in your training regimen or just your, your your typical workouts during during the day. Okay, that's my lesson for today. It was short and sweet, concentric, eccentric, isometric. Make sure you're using all three. Okay, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.